Hey everyone, I'm Kadada, Senior Area Education Manager for Sephora inside JCPenney. And July 29th marks National Lipstick Day. So it's only right that we celebrate by talking about one of the must-have accessories for our makeup bag, and that's the red lipstick. Okay gang, let's talk texture. Texture affects the finish and the color payoff of your lipstick. It can also be a determining factor as to where and what time of day you choose to wear it. Let's take a look together at some of the more popular textures in lipstick. First, we have our sheer or glossy texture. Now sheer or glossy textures provide a tint of color and high shine. These are great for everyday wear and perfect for teens. It's also a great option for anyone wanting to add a little fullness to their pout. Some of the brands that are offering this texture, Dior Addict in their Halo Shine and Fenty Beauty's Slip Shine. Next we have our cream texture. Now cream offers low shine, but really rich color payoff. Perfect for making boss moves during the day and vixen moves at night. Some brands to check out for this mood, our KVD Vegan Beauty Vinyl Lip Creams and Urban Decay's Vice Lipsticks. And last, but definitely not least, it's the ever popular matte textured lipstick. Now matte is super pigmented, it's long wearing, minus the shine. Some of our faves in this texture are our very own Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stains and Bite Beauty Creamy Matte Lip Crayons. So with any of these choices, you definitely can't go wrong. So no matter what texture you choose, a professional recommendation that I make for that, pairing them with your favorite lip pencil. This will help to prevent bleeding and maintain the shape of your perfect red pout. To get my lips ready for color, I wanna make sure there isn't any dry skin on the lip surface, especially since I'll be using a matte formula. So I'm applying Glow Recipes Lip Pop. This will get rid of any dead skin on the surface and condition at the same time. Next, I will remove remaining lip exfoliant and excess oil on my lips just to make sure my matte lipstick dries down properly. Then I'm going in to, with my lip liner in a similar color to my lips to use as a guide and to create the perfect shape. Using a lip liner in a similar color to your lips helps to add to wearability and prevent feathering or bleeding of the color. This is Sephora Collections Gel Lip Liner in Bad Apple. Then I'm going back in with a deeper pencil for a bit more definition, which is a personal preference, not something that you absolutely have to do. But if you like a little bit more fullness and definition, I'm just going to go in with Sephora Collections Gel Lip Liner in Dark Horse just to add a bit more depth to my lip color. Notice that I'm blotting and not rubbing. Helping to blot the color together will help maintain the shape and ensure that the lip line stays right where you put it. And lastly, going in with my favorite red in Sephora Collection's Cream Lip Stain in number 96, Red Velvet. Again, blotting the color as opposed to rubbing so I don't push the color outside the lines. And don't worry if you color a bit outside the line, a little bit of remover and going back over with your lip liner will help fix that. And voila, there you have it. This red lip tip provides the answer to the million dollar question, how do I know which shade of red is best for me? And simply put, it's skin tone. Typically based on color theory, fair skin tends to look great in a more blue or pink based red, 
while more medium to tan skin pairs well with a more yellow or orange base red. More olive skin tone works well with more berry or burgundy reds. And dark to deep dark skins pair amazingly with mahogany, wine, or more maroon base reds. So hope that hopefully that helps you in your lipstick choice. Now keep in mind, this is an art, not a science. So whatever shade of red or whatever shade of lipstick makes you feel beautiful, I say go for it. Well, that's a wrap on all the tips that I have for you today. But before we go, I would love to hear from you. What shade of lipstick makes you feel beautiful? So take a moment and comment below and share with us what shade of lipstick that you're completely head over heels about now. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, happy National Lipstick Day.